we are two physical therapy students from Bellarmine University, and today we're going to be demonstrating two clinical tests that you could use in the clinic if you suspect a patient may be presenting with signs and symptoms of meningitis. The first test we are going to do is called Brudinsky sign. So you ask your patient to lay supine on the table, and you will passively flex their neck as so. A positive sign, the patient will flex their knees and hips. So this is how a positive Brudinsky sign will look. What I'm doing when I flex the patient's neck is I'm creating tension in the meningeal space and they are trying to relieve that irritation. The next test that I'm going to demonstrate is called Kernig sign. This test is a passive test. You will flex the patient's hip to 90 degrees and then you will slowly extend their knee and the patient may report pain in this position. Here's what a positive Kernig sign would look like. Sometimes they would want to flex their neck up to relieve that tension that I'm creating. Um, these two signs can indicate meningitis along with symptoms that commonly present early with meningitis are headache, nausea, vomiting, and high fever, and a very uh, major sign that presents is a stiff neck. 